You have a product that you want to pursue, but you cannot find a niche with enough demand for it. By the end of this video, you will know how to use Helium 10's magnet to help you find a niche that has enough demand for your product and how you can use Helium 10's magnet to help you craft the perfect product. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. In my channel, I share everything Amazon FBA and just anything that I'm learning from life. So if you like to follow my journey, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for when I release a new video every week. So Magnet helped me craft one of my products that bring in $30,000 per month. I found my product in stores and every time I looked for a niche with enough demand, I couldn't find anything until I used the Magnet tool. And Magnet didn't just help me find a niche with enough demand. It helped me find features from other niches to help me perfectly craft my product. And now it's time to show you how you can use Helium 10's magnet to help you create your winning product. And if you ha don't have Helium 10 yet, I have a 50% off your first month referral link. The link is in the description below, so check that out if you haven't already. Sometimes you find a product in stores or on Google or even on Etsy, but when you look on Amazon and you look through niches, you can't find a niche with enough demand for it. Before you give up on this product, you should go into Magnet on Helium 10 and type in the keywords that are most relevant, that you think are most relevant to your product. And what Magnet will do is it will generate keywords for you that it thinks is most relevant for your product. And you can look a little further into it to see if there is enough demand with little competition for you to pursue this product that you really want to pursue. And that's what we're going to learn today. We're going to learn how to use Magnet and let's get to it. So let's say you found this product on Etsy and you really love it and you want to sell something like this, but all the keywords that you find on Amazon doesn't have enough demand. You're looking through different keywords. So let's say tool set for babies. You look at x-ray to see how the demand is for that product. Um, and what you will see is that there is not a search, enough search volume. This one shows only 49. Maybe the other keywords that you find only has like 100 or 200, but you see that all these products are doing really well still. 15,000, 30,000, $45,000, $15,000. So you know that there is enough demand somewhere else, but you just can't find the keywords for it. And so what you wanna do next is dig a little further into this by using Magnet on Helium 10. So what we can do is use Magnet to dig further to see if there are any possible niches with enough demand with little competition for you to go into. So let's take a look at Magnet. So we hop into Magnet. You, so the way you get into Magnet is you go on the, the tabs on the left, Keyword, and then Keyword Research, and then Magnet. And then what you wanna type here is a keyword that you're searching for. So Tool Set for Babies. And what this will do is it will compile a bunch of keywords that are highly relevant to your product. Not highly relevant, but relevant to your product. We have to dig in further to make it more highly relevant. So you see here it has 6,500 keywords that are relevant to your product. But how do we find keywords with enough demand? Because you see these keywords have 365, 42 search volume and all that and then when you click by search volume it might not be things that are really 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 like specific to your product girl toys baby girl girl toys so it doesn't really make sense right so how do we dig further into finding keywords that are more relevant to your product so we want to dig into the filters for this so what i usually do is i do a minimum search volume of 500 I think anywhere between 500 and up is good for your, for um, going for for this for niches, because let's say you have five highly relevant keywords to your product, and they're all 500. That's 2,500 people searching your product every month. So that's almost like 100 100 customers searching your product every single day. So that's still pretty good, right? For one of my really successful products that make thirty thousand dollars a month, the main keyword super highly relevant to my product only has 400 searches per month and i know that i make all a lot of my sales from that keyword because i only have one competitor on um, in that niche and i'm doing way better in sales compared to him and um 
when I look at my advertising, my PPC, my campaigns, it's showing that this keyword's hitting a lot of sales. So that's why I don't ever negate small search volumes, but we do this in the filters just to find enough demand for niches just to potentially potentially pursue this product. You wanna know that there's not just that one specific 300 search volume, highly relevant keyword for your product. You wanna make sure that there is enough demand besides that highly relevant keyword for you to pursue the product. So we, we do 500 um, word count, I do seven. So let's say tool set for babies, tool set for babies, that's five, four, or you wanna do plush tool set for babies, that's five already. So I'll do seven. Sometimes there are words, keywords that pop up that's like nine keywords and it, no one's ever gonna search that. So I just keep it at seven, competing products, this doesn't really matter because it's not gonna be highly, highly relevant. You have to do this yourself by looking into each keyword to see how many competitors that you know are for your product. Cause you only you will know that. Helium 10 is not gonna really know that. And then match type, I will do organic and we hit apply. And now we see that the keywords filtered went from all the way from 6,500 keywords to 282 keywords. These are keywords that are really relevant to your product. And after looking at this, you see gardening set, gardening tools, shovel and rake set. So we were looking for products for construction tools for babies, right? But now after looking further into this keyword or this product, we see that this opened up a whole new world for us. So maybe instead of doing construction tools, maybe we could look further into doing a gardening set for kids. And by looking at this, you see a rake, a shovel, and then if you look further down this list, a pitchfork, sparkly pitchfork, a toy leaf blower, you could see that these are all kids table set. You could see that these are all keywords that you can actually bundle together to help craft and create your own product and by you creating this new bundle, maybe um, other toy sets don't have a leaf blower, right? And you include that leaf blower into your product and this will help you really improve your product that you wanna put into the market as a new product and you will be successful over your competitors. See how easily we can craft a brand new product from this? And if you look at these, you see 1,700 searches per month, 1,000 searches per month, and all these going down, that's 5,000 people so far and then 1,565, 8,000 people. So that's like 8,000 people looking for your product every single month. That's about 100 people looking for your product every day. 300 people, sorry, 300 searches per day looking for this product. So that's really, really good. If you made it this far into the video and it's been really helpful for you, just hit that thumbs up for me, it'll help me a lot. Uh, so what do we do next? So let's say, you want to um, be more specific with your keywords, right? Because <laughs> we're after tools and construction tools for babies, not gardening tools. So so let's say we, um, the way we can look for more specific keywords, highly relevant to our product, is we go to the contain and the advanced filters. And what we can do is type in tool, right? And then I would hit any, so it shows any keywords with the name word tool and tools in it. So you hit apply, because if you did all, it'll nothing will show up because you have two words here and no keywords are gonna have tool and tools in, in one keyword. What you see here is that we went from 500 keywords or was it 650, all the way down to 106 keywords. So now what you can do is look further into these keywords to see how the demand is. So imagine finding a niche where there's only one or two competitors or even 15 competitors. A lot of niches, even for tools for babies, somewhere there's a keyword out there that has hundreds of competitors. So when you use the different keywords to create your own product, you will essentially be creating your own niche, which will help you stand out from your competitors. So what you could do further to find highly relevant keywords to your product with enough demand is you could do magnet IQ, sort by magnet IQ. If you click on this, it'll sort by the highest IQ score, which Helium 10 tries to um, do IQ score, which will make the keyword highly relevant to your product. It tries to do its own data. 
You could just do this for a quick research, but later on you would have to do this manually to make sure that these are correct. And you would find a bunch of keywords here that are highly relevant to your product. See, power tools, kids tool set, toddler tool bench. So these are pretty good, right? Or you could do it by search volume just to find enough demand. So yeah, so you do a search volume and it'll show all these keywords that you can use to look further into um, to see if there is an opening for you for your product to get into. Um, but also another thing you can do is, you know, type in construction and then it'll show keywords are highly relevant. So there are five keywords here. These are all highly relevant keywords to your product. And what you would do if you want to dig further into this later on, you can search by different colors. So you could do uh, blue, type in blue here, type in pink, green, or you could do it by gender, girl, boy, or toddler. And let's say you find that those niches or those keywords, when you look further into those keywords on Amazon, that they have one or two competitors or something like that. And you could find an opening for you to get into those, those niches. So that's how you can easily, easily dig further into this to find a niche for your, your product. If you have any questions regarding Helium 10 on how to use it or anything, or you want me to make any future videos on Helium 10, just let me know your thoughts on, on the comment section below and I'll make the video for you guys in the future. Let's say next that you wanna be more specific and you keep only seeing the words tools in it, right? But you wanna know what kind of tools to include in your set. So what we could do next is use the exclude um, phrases that contain. So what this does is it takes away all of the keywords that have this word in it. So let's say we want to know what kind of tools, right? And instead of saying tools, it will, it will say what kind of tools because it just won't say tools. So <clears throat> tools, and it should show you what kind of tools there are here. So you have a shovel, a leaf blower, a rake, workbench, right? A gardening set, toy hammer. So you know that these are all really, really highly relevant um, products that you could form to make your own bundle. And they all have really high search volumes. So gardening kit, okay, well not that, but the workbench, a bench, right? 3,000 searches per month. A rake, 3,000 searches per month. Leaf blower, 3,000 searches, kids shovel. So imagine making a bundle with all of these in it and your customer gets all of them together, right? And you have thousands of people searching for this product every month. Um, but maybe you have this bundle and other competitors have these bundles, but you just add that leaf blower and that just changes your product completely against your other competitors. Or it could be like, this whole set with the leaf blower, that's already a big improvement, right? But you include like a really nice gift box or you make a color that no one's ever made before, but you see that the color, there's enough demand for that color. So that's something for you to think about. So this, what this would do is this will give you the more specifics for you to work with. Or let's just say you're not looking at tools, right? But let's just say you're looking for, your niche was blue glass cups. And for some reason, all the keywords on this page say stainless steel so what you would do is you type in stainless steel in here and then it'll exclude all those keywords that's taking up the real estate of your page and you will be able to see if there is enough demand for the blue glass cups a lot of sellers only use magnet for keyword research for listing optimization and their ppc advertising but you can see how magnet can not just help you with the listing optimization, but how important it is during product research. It could help you open your mind to totally different products that you didn't think about, or it could help you make bundles to perfectly help you craft your product. So this is why I believe using magnet and keyword research is fundamental and essential for your product research. But what you would do next essentially is strategically pick the keywords that are most relevant to your product for using for your listing title and your bullet points to help you rank for those keywords. Because on Amazon, 
the way the keywords, the keywords that you use on your listing determines what keywords you will rank for. And this is why it's important to not just put anything on your listing, like write any words that you want, because then you will not rank for anything relevant to your product and you will have a failing product. Doesn't matter how good your product is, how well you improved it or anything. If you're not picking highly relevant keywords for you to rank for and for your advertising and all that, you're gonna have a bad product. So what you would do next is you would plug those highly relevant keywords into your advertising campaigns on Amazon. So there, it's called PPC advertising, which is pay-per-click. Um, this is the advertising method that I use for my to help launch my products. I don't use Facebook ads. I don't do social media advertising or anything or influencers. I just use PPC advertising from Amazon. It's all you need. It's efficient and it's quick and it doesn't create, it doesn't take a lot of work to do. And I know a lot of you probably don't really understand what PPC advertising is. So I'm going to create a video explaining the basics of advertising on Amazon and how it works and all that in a future video. And I also um, made a video, it should be up here, on how to find your competitor's keywords using Helium 10. So if you haven't, um, so if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you check that out. It'll really help you, help me a lot. No, it'll really help you a lot. <laughs> and it helped me too, but it, it'll help you a lot. But uh, that's it. I really hope that you found this helpful. And if you have any more questions, I have a Facebook group where we discuss everything Amazon FBA. So if you'd like to join, the link is in the description below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't checked these videos out, not sure what side it's on, be sure to check them out and I'll catch you soon.